The dark's good for sneaking up on things. The night's your chance to be sneaky. Some bouncy rubber scrap over there. Just don't get served hot meals in a munch house like that anymore.
Who'd leave rubber scrap lying around like that? Nothing beats the darkness. Heads up, that's the Blimp Station, home of the notorious Lobo. Let's see. Lama, Parip, Alamagum, Sifu Kuman. Lubs ain't the easiest tongue, but at least Lobo's peppy and seems happy to see you. Sama Kika. You might remember her from the old days when she let you ride the wind in her gull blimp. Balu, dudu, She believes you are so righteous as a child and can still feel it even from where she is standing. She can sense you're still catching up with your own story, or at least your part in it, and she wants you to know that friends can help you add context to that tale and find the meaning in it. She's curious about what you've done all these years. You must have been through lots out there on the other side of the wall. Lobo says memories are your personal history. You filter them not through who you were, but who you are now. She knows you're back to take on Lupa Lupin. That's your history colliding with your present to help you forge your future. She's affected that even if that disaster knocked the air right out of you, you never let that stop you. You caught your breath and stood back up again. It's important you don't let your history determine your course of action. She suggests you choose your own horizons. She believes you deserve retribution for what was done. Lobo says the gull blimper had the wind knocked out, so she needs a new push gas can to get it back up in the sky. There's a Franken dog from before the Longon still out there somewhere, and mechanines like that are motored with gas. If you could find the Franken dog and lead it back to her, she'll be able to drain gas from its container and huff up the gull blimp. She's not surprised. It's a strange name to give anything, especially a mechanine. But rumor has it, its inventor was barking mad. Check out that e-waste. That's a good find. You're in charge of that mount. Act like it. 
To be frank with you, a building like this doesn't come across as a doghouse, but it is. like the cables need to be re-plugged in steps to match each sequence in order to generate a buzz strong enough to make things happen. Nice. That rearrangement should be enough to let enough electric current pass through the board. Just hold on tight.
Kati. Wale kapu. Alamakum. Harik zamakshuk. With the push gas can in place, the gull blimper is ready to go all the way up. But it'll also need to come back down. She says that with fresh push gas, you'll need a heavier tie down to anchor the gull blimper. Lobo says she spotted a vessel on the surf when riding the sky last, and from the look of it, it had a heavy tie down weighing it down. You should return as soon as you've retrieved the tie down, as the gull blimp can't. She's seen it used to moor floats to the bottom of the surf. It's a heavy piece of scronk attached to it. Clothes need a good scrubbing too. Walking down a trail. Turn the nodes to raise the tie down and stop it from falling. Just a few moves left, make them count. That's good. Now better head back to Lobo and get that weight off your shoulders. Now that the push gas and tie down are in place, Lobo says the gull blimp can go both up and down. You're ready for takeoff. might be stripped, but no one strips places like you. Next stop, the clouds.
an aerodrome where the brave got into tin cans that got tossed through the sky. fits. Should have brought gloshes for sloshes. 